Who is the fairest of all? <laughs> <laughs> take myself seriously with my hair like this but I don't know what else to do with it right now. I am not getting gel tone in my hair, no way. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. This is my first ever Halloween makeup tutorial thing. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> it's my first time working with like kind of special effects makeup, um, that being gelatin. If you haven't guessed by the thumbnail, the title and the intro, I am doing a adaption of the Evil Queen from Snow White. I've had this idea for years and nobody has actually done it so I thought I'd try my hand at doing this. I'm going to be doing half the Evil Queen as her normal kind of purple smoky eye with red lips and then I'm going to be doing half my face with the skull. That is on the poisoned apple when she poisons Snow White. You would have seen by the intro of this video how it turns out. I'm hoping it comes out okay. If it doesn't turn out good then you're never gonna see this video. So we shall see how this goes. But yeah let's get on to this because this is gonna be a lengthy process and as usual I've left it till nine o'clock to start filming. <laughs> first things first, the queen does not have grey slash blue eyes, she has green eyes. So I've got contacts. These contacts are by Mesmerize Eyes. I'll leave the exact colour down below, but I'm pretty sure they're called like Renegade Green. Everything will be down in the description box for you guys though. Let me just say this right now, the scariest thing about this whole makeup tutorial is my nails. <gasps> okay, I know, <laughs> they look so bad, but it's just gonna add to the effect. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go put my contacts in real quick and by real quick, I mean with the power of editing because I don't know how to put them in. <laughs> I look really weird with green eyes. <laughs> these are kind of like more natural looking ones, but these took me literally about half an hour to put in. Next step is to block out the eyebrows because I'm going to be drawing on brand new ones. <laughs> so I've got my washable glue stick, I've got my powder puff and I've got my RCMA translucent powder. Let's get into this. I'm kind of nervous. I hope I have eyebrows by the end of this. I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up. I got a lot of brow hair and I really need my eyebrows done so this is the perfect time to do this. I'm just going to Oh well, no, I guess. This feels so strange. <laughs> I believe you've got to do this in a few layers so it truly sticks down. This is my first time doing this as well, by the way. Okay, so now I look like an angry bird. I'm gonna take my powder puff and I'm gonna go over the top. I'm just gonna really like stamp pressing it in not to disturb the glue underneath. It feels so weird. This is probably the best I ever will and ever have looked on YouTube. I decided to do two more layers of the glue and the powder. Pretty smooth to the skin now and I feel like they're a better canvas to actually work over. I really want to do like colour correcting because my eyebrows are coming through quite a lot and I don't want to have to layer layer layer. A little trick that I like to do when I don't have the colour that I want, I take my white concealer, this is by Makeup Revolution, it's very affordable. And then I take the colour that I need. So in this case I'm taking the Morphe Picasso palette and I'm taking the orange shade and I just mix it in with the concealer. I tend to use this a lot on my Instagram posts and things and it's just handy to do. So I'd highly recommend having like a white concealer it's because it's versatile and it's easier than buying a lot of concealers. It saves you so much money. I don't want to go crazy with the colour correction but I am going to, I'm just patting this on before I blend it in. Take my sponge and I'm just going to lightly go over the top. Be careful when using a wet sponge because obviously this glue is soluble. See how much the difference using that peachy colour over top made. So I'm quickly going to go off camera and do my other brow and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to actually go in with some normal concealer. I'm just going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just going to blend this over top. Okay so I think this is the best that I'm going to do. It's not the smoothest. It's not the best concealed but hey I'm not a professional. So now that I've got my kind of blank canvas I'm just going to do a normal Prime foundation concealer and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm aware I look insane. I've done my foundation, my concealer and my powder. I've got my inspiration picture over here. So if I keep looking that way, that is why. She's got very black kind of arched eyebrows that come in quite a lot in the center. She got a purple kind of smoky eye and then also red lips. And she does have the like kind of, what's it called? Vampire's peak 
thing, which we're gonna have to draw on. We need some black eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Hyper Precise All Day Matte Felt Liner. And we are gonna pray that I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna sweep away some of the excess powder. I wanna do the eyebrows first because then I feel like I can mold everything else around them. I'm, I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> This isn't the best product to be using for this. It's really not working that well, but that is the kind of shape that I wanted. So I'm just gonna outline the other side and then we're gonna use a different product to finish this off. And them even is gonna be the hardest part. That is pretty much the shape that I wanna work with. We're gonna be thickening them up a little bit, but I'm just gonna figure out what product I'm gonna use and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I feel like the easiest thing to do is just use straight old face paint. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go straight in with a black with a tiny little detail brush and yeah, we're just gonna fill these brows in. <laughs> She kind of has like blocky, thin brows where they're kind of squared off in the beginning. I think that is pretty accurate. <laughs> now I'm gonna go do the other eyebrow. Okay, so I think this is the best that I'm gonna be able to do, I'll be honest. Now I'm gonna do the like widow's peak. So I'm just gonna, again, I'm winging this all, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing like something over my face so it kind of like covers my hair and stuff but I just wanted to do that now so it's done. So I think I'm gonna move on to the eyes now. For the purple kind of smoky eye that she's got I'm gonna be using the Revolution Pro Regeneration Trends Mischief Mattes Palette which looks like this. I already primed my lids with some concealer. Get rid of any creases. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. First of all I'm just gonna fluff this white in the palette just all over my eyelids to kind of set them ready for blending and I'm taking it on my brow as well just to make sure I'm gonna have like a nice smooth blend okay so now that's done looking at her eyes it's kind of like a cool tone purple so the first color that I'm gonna go into is called shrine and it's this one right here I'm just gonna start pressing this in what would be our crease the evil queen she's like a 2d character so there's not like a lot of dimension to her but we are gonna bring her into the 3d world now i'm gonna bring the same color onto the lid i'm gonna go in with a flat brush and i'm really gonna pack the same color on the lid looking at the color now it does look a little bit more navy so i'm just gonna add a little bit more blue into the mixture i'm gonna go in with the color indication which is this deep blue here and I'm just gonna fluff this all over just to bring that kind of blue color in. I decided to go over the edges with a little bit of crusade, the lighter blue right here just to give it a little bit more of that blue kind of faded out look. I'm gonna take a bit of the indication shade and I'm gonna run this underneath my eyes so I'm taking it kind of like where my eye creases. Again I'm gonna take a little bit of that crusade color and I'm gonna blend out the lash line and and in all honesty, that's pretty much it for the eyes. I am actually gonna quickly tight line just so I have a base for my lashes. Now I'm just going to put on some mascara. To make my eyes look a little bit bigger, I'm gonna take a nude eyeliner and I'm just going to line my waterline. And I'm gonna take it slightly further than my actual waterline just because her eyes are so big. So I wanna also make mine look quite large. She doesn't look like she's got any bottom mascara on, so I'm not gonna add any. I'm just looking at her eyes and just trying to make sure that mine looks similar to hers. She's very dark in this inner corner here, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that darkness. Okay, so now that I look like I've been punched in the face, <laughs> I'm gonna go quickly do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so the eyes are pretty much done. I decided to add just a little bit of liner right against my lash line, but now I'm going to move on to the face. So I'm just gonna dust away the excess powder that I've got everywhere right now. <laughs> Putting on a lot of powder though really helped the fallout because I did have quite a bit of fallout with this shadow. Now she has like no contour but so much blush like she pretty much has blush like all around 
cute. So <laughs> I guess that's what we're gonna do. Closest kind of color that I actually had is Max Dolly Mix. She was a bright pink blush. And I'm just gonna pretty much just start adding this to my kind of cheek area and contour area. I'm gonna start bringing this in. I'm just basically filling this whole area up with blush. I feel like I'm wearing like clout makeup right now, <laughs> which I guess I kind of am. It's fancy dress, it's all fun. Just gonna chisel out my cheekbones just a smidgen just because I am feeling very round right now. <laughs> and obviously she's slimmer than me, so I gotta, you know, I gotta look slimmer. I'm just gonna add it to my temples, conceal the double chin. I'm never gonna get rid of it, but you know, I could try. Now is for the red lip. It's a very pink based red. I think I'm gonna use the Revolution Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigment in Apprehension. I think this will be a good kind of color for it. I'm gonna take this on a lip brush first of all, just so we can try and get like a precise application. Okay, so I think this is a pretty good color for her lips. And that is pretty much it. She doesn't have no highlight. She was from 1936, I think it was. So this is pretty much the look for the evil queen. If you wanted to stop here, then you can do. I'm gonna quickly try my best to conceal my hair. I wanted to use a dress to kind of do like the headpiece. Uh, so I'll be right back and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the finished look. Um, Yeah, this is a dress that I've like tied around my head if you could see what was going on the back would understand <laughs> it is not good looking from the back i'll just tell you that now i'm actually quite proud how this has come out i feel like for a minute there i thought this was gonna look absolutely awful but i feel like it's come together this is a black dress this is a purple cape and this I literally just made out of paper and I pinned in with some bobby pins. And I feel like even though this is very much a DIY last minute kind of thing, I feel like it looks kind of cool. And I asked two people in my family who they thought that I was and they instantly thought that I was the evil queen from Snow White. So in my eyes, that's a win-win. This is the first version of the evil queen. If you wanted to, you could just stop right here. The only thing that I may suggest to do is maybe add some corner lashes if you wanted to make the eyes look a little bit bigger. Because I'm going to be messing up this face, I decided against it. <laughs> if you want to make it a little bit different, or at least try, I don't know, I haven't tried this myself, so we're gonna see how this goes. And we are going to bring some gelatin into the mix. So, enough looking like the normal evil queen. We are going to take all this off for a moment. I'm gonna end up putting it back on, but I have mixed up my gelatin mixture, which um, this looks kind of disgusting. <laughs> we are going to make a drippy mess on my face. Be right back. <laughs> okay, so I've taken off all the costume kind of thing that I had on. I have my inspiration picture ready. I think best thing to do is start with an outline. So I'm gonna go around this side of my face with white, and then we're gonna go in with the gelatin. Obviously, this is just gonna be a guide. I can't really control where the gelatin goes. And the way that the skull kind of works in the film, it has like these kind of driplets that kind of look like teeth. So I want to do that as well. I think I'm going to quickly off camera wipe off these areas. Okay guys, so I have my outline, I have my gelatin ready, and there's a small window to use this because it's starting to coagulate and set. So I guess we're just going to do this. I'm just going to go in. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm nervous. Let's, let's try this. Okay. I want to kind of try and control it oh god oh god oh god i have not done a good job of this already <laughs> so i kind of want to do like drips it's hard with a spoon probably should have used something else oh wait <laughs> this is really gross this feels disgusting <laughs> but just give me the effect i want so i can't really complain going into the areas where i want it now i really don't want it to look like i've got snobs <laughs> Trying to like stop it from dripping everywhere. No, this is very hard to do. Also, I'm trying not to get it in my eye and in my hair. <laughs> Again, very difficult. <laughs> so I can get the kind of coverage that I want. I'm just kind of like smearing it. So I'm not gonna take it all the way to my hairline because it's gonna be covered up. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the eye and the nose with black face paint so I can get the full effect of the skull. And then I'm gonna put on the costume and we'll see the finished <laughs> result. a bit of shading around the green. I'm gonna take some of this black 
face paint and I'm just gonna go around the edges and I'm just using a tiny little detail brush. To make my face look a little bit irritated around the edges, I'm going to take a little bit of the red and the green and mix it together. And I'm just going to start kind of scuffing it around the gelatin so we get like a kind of irritated look going on. I'm going to add a bit of black to my lips on this side as well, on the inside, and I blend it out a little. I just want to look a little bit more worn down the, on the side like you know what I mean you've just eaten a poisoned apple I'm gonna take a little bit of that red shade and I'm just gonna kind of create like a little vein kind of looking things <laughs> Okay, so this is it. I think it looks okay. I don't know if it looks like the skull, but you get the kind of idea. So I'm gonna put the dress on and yeah, I'll see you on the flip side. So this is the finished look, guys. I forgot to mention as well, I also set the black cream paint with a black eyeshadow just to make sure that wasn't moving. I also went around my hairline with some dark green eyeshadow to create some depth and also to kind of like cover up any flesh tone that was coming through. So just to let you guys know. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little tutorial. Again, this is my first ever time with different kind of mediums. I don't know if this was so much a tutorial than me just having fun with makeup. Either way, I enjoyed doing this. It doesn't look exactly as I pictured it and as I wanted it to turn out, but I still think it looks pretty cool. I look pretty gross. It also feels very gross. If you want more videos like this, then don't forget to hit the little subscribe button. I've got more ideas for Halloween. And if you want more of those videos, then don't forget to leave a little thumbs up so I know and I'll continue making these funny little videos. <laughs> I cannot take myself seriously right now. I hope you are having a spooky evening wherever you are in the world. And until the next one, I shall see you. Bye guys.